What's going on guys, Skeltos here, and today in this video, I'm going to just catch you up on the channel. Um, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened behind the scenes that I just didn't make videos of, because I've been really busy over the last six weeks. I'm finally done with my third semester of college, so I have some more free time, and I just want to talk about what the videos are going to be like and the new schedule is going to be. So I'm going to find a seat to sit down outside, and I'm going to catch you guys up. Okay guys, so I'm going to catch you up on everything that's been going on. So, as I said, I'm done with my third semester of college, which is pretty cool. Uh, the last video I think you guys saw was four weeks ago when this gets posted, which was the carburetor install. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. The carburetor that went on worked for about three days. Um, it ended up having a broken float in it in the main, like, in the main carb, in the main part of the carb. The float was just shot. So, um, I had to wait for about a week for a new carburetor and I just installed that one there was no reason to make a new video on it because it was just the same process so the car has a new carb on it the cars are right here as you can see in the back and um, it's still having issues I still have to get it kind of like fine tunes and whatnot but in that time that I was waiting on the carburetor for this I blew a rear diff in the Jeep I ended up I went on a birthday cruise and I ended up blowing my rear pinion into two pieces and I actually had to reverse it home it was a whole ordeal but what ended up happening was I ended up getting that fixed off camera I didn't want to fix that myself because it was such an it was such an in-depth thing when I took my diff cover off I saw that my pinion was literally just sitting in my diff like if it had not been attached to anything prior so that is another thing and I'll show you both things I'll show you the new carburetor and I'll sh I can't really show you the diff but I'll show you you might be able to see the pinion, but I can kind of explain what had happened. I'll go over there and I'll show you guys. Another thing is I'm working on a headliner for the for the Camaro. So I have bought material about six years ago that I never used, and it's like still in the packaging and all that. So we're going to start using that. That may or may not be a video. That's a project I'm working on my with my dad. And my dad, you know, doesn't ha really like me working around with the camera. You know, he doesn't like being on camera is what I should say. It's not that he doesn't like me doing this. He doesn't care about this. He um, doesn't like being on camera. So I won't put him on camera if he doesn't want to be. He, he was in one video, but I don't think he knows that. So that's a project him and I are working on. It's a good fa father-son bonding time. So we're just going to do that off camera. And I could show you the progress in another video kind of how that turns out because we're still waiting on a couple things we have a template made which I'll show you it's actually right behind the camera and we're waiting on um, some foam padding so when we hit our head on the ceiling like we probably will we don't hurt our heads another thing is I kind of been practicing welding so that should be some upcoming videos welding is becoming like a kind of like a daily routine for me I spend about an hour doing it every day to kind of practice and Today I'm going to take a break from that. Maybe maybe tomorrow I'll make another video of me just cutting apart things and welding them together. I have no idea. I'm really just up in the air with video ideas right now. And that's what I want to talk about next. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I have exhaust pipe for both the Camaro and the Cherokee. And I have other parts coming in like a horn for the Cherokee and a horn for the Camaro. Like I'll make a horn video. And um, I really don't know where I'm going to go with those. I have to get kind of more video ideas rolling. It's kind of hard right now with um, all the COVID stuff going on to get one's parts here and stuff takes like three weeks to get here kind of. So I have stuff that I ordered that I'll expect like the end of May, which isn't too far away. I'm recording this on the 20th, so we have like, that's like 10 or 11 days, but it's for the end of May, beginning of June is delivery dates for some of that stuff. And, I'm, and I keep ordering stuff. So me by ordering stuff is just, keeps getting pushed out in the dates and whatnot. So we're still waiting on parts. So let me talk about what I did on the Camaro, uh, uh, else besides the new carburetor. I also did shocks in the car. Let me show you right here, I'm gonna grab a shock. These were the old shocks on the car and they are absolutely destroyed. Like I could pull them apart. They're so stiff, it's like ridiculous. And they're just, they're just shot like, they're just completely shot. They don't re have any bound to them. So what I ended up doing was buying new shocks. And that's a simple thing I did. Well, it wasn't simple. It took about two and a half hours because of nonsense. But that's something I did on the car. It was really simple to do. So I'm going to pick up the camera and kind of show you guys everything that I have, including the headliner. I have a new, t I have a new tool shed, which is pretty cool. The diff, I'll explain the diff and what they did at the sh at that shop and I'll show you the shocks if I can get a picture and I'll show you the carburetor so let's get into that 
Okay guys, so we'll start off here. This is the new carburetor. This is a brawler holly carburetor like I explained in one of my videos. But this is the street version. So you see how this is black and the plate's black? That's the only difference really. Oh, and it also has eyeglass holes on both sides of the of this. And this is the new carburetor. This was this one's a little more than the other one. The other one that had sent me was a die cast and there's about a $50 difference because of the black I'm assuming and the different eyeglasses but this is the carburetor that I got after the other one was shot because this is the one I ordered and I didn't even realize that they sent me the wrong one but that's on me not them not realizing right away another thing we have headliner stuff so my dad and I spent one afternoon making this template out of a huge piece of cardboard to fit into the roof of the Camaro because it needed, and it needs a headliner. A car has no headliner, and I'll show you in the car right now. We kind of have stuff all over the place. So the light, and then a bunch of interior panels. But, oh, and then the mirror is like shaky when you ride it. But as you could tell, the car has no headliner, and it needs one. So that was a big thing we need to do. It's so loud. Um, Oh, this is my welding table. I'll get into that into when I do it. If I do if I do a welding video, which I probably will. And then the new shocks. I don't know if you could see them, but they're right they're right here. They're hard to they're hard to see. Let me see if I can get it over here. But new I don't even think you guys can see them, but new black shocks. Those were a nice um nice upgrade. They're not, you know, they're just OEM kind of. Just kick some uh, sheet metal. Um, those, this is kind of OEM, but it's nothing crazy. It was just it, it actually changed the ride quality um, um, like crazy. I couldn't believe it when I took it out for a ride. I was like, wow, I never realized how bad I needed shocks. But let's talk about the Jeep. So, as you guys know, this is the Cherokee. I've done like nine videos on this vehicle, I think. And I don't really think you could tell too much of a difference underneath here. But what had happened was... This is your drive shaft. My pinion's in here, and this is my diff, obviously. I have a Chrysler eight and a quarter. And what had happened was, under about 1500 RPMs of load, my pinion literally exploded. So what had happened was, it blew out and pushed the drive shaft this way, leaving half the pinion on this and half the pinion in the diff. So I ended up, what I ended up doing was, I ended up calling around and I was gonna have somebody I know do it but I was just like let me get it done by somebody some somebody professional that has um, they actually had a slot and appointments ready for somebody because they weren't too busy so I ended up doing this I ended up getting the work done at 4x4 place in Lake Copac on if you guys live in the North New Jersey area you might may or may not know the place really nice guys they did a great they did a great job and I'm in the break-in period right now I have to drive the Jeep about 500 to 2,000 miles I think I'm at like 160 or something like that driving it but I'll get those. I'm actually going to go do a solo photo shoot today with the Jeep. So I'll put more miles on it. Um, and then I have to do um, kind of a fluid change in the diff. But I'll do that on my own because I could do that. So that's it for the Jeep. Oh, and then the Jeep has no exhaust. I don't even know. That video never went up. So I had a whole video get ready. I was getting ready to do exhaust on both the Camaro and the Jeep. And I scrapped it. Scrapped it so hard. I was like, I'm going to do this right. So, I haven't done it yet, but Camaro's getting a full exhaust with cats and mufflers, but it's not small. It's, I'll just, I won't go into too depth into it, but it's coming soon, the video, and I'm going to try and get that done, I don't know, in the next few weeks. I have to order some more parts still, and then I think that's it for the Jeep and the Camaro. I don't think, I don't have any other cars, but there might be another car coming soon. I have to wait till all this COVID stuff is over and we could actually start functioning at dealerships and stuff like that again. But there might be a new car coming soon. So one last thing is I did a simple upgrade to my kind of situation. I, we got a, my dad and I got a tool shed because this is my tool cart and it literally would just sit out here in the rain and then my tools would get soaked and my cart would be like flooded for like three days. So we just got a simple tool shed, got my all my welding stuff, my jacks and my jack stands, oil for the cars. I, I, the car got an oil change, that's, which was nice. Also, peaked the performance well because I didn't realize one day I was driving it. I was running like 20, 
PSI of oil pressure, and I was just like, okay, well that's not good. So now it runs about 70, 70 pounds of oil pressure, which is nice. But this was a cool upgrade to get this little shed. We're gonna do something about it. We're gonna get like a whole tool chest and stuff like that to upgrade it even more. But this was a simple upgrade to do. And um, I think that's it to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on like behind the scenes. You know, the Camaro videos are coming back soon. I gotta kinda get ideas and whatnot for it. So the things that might be coming are just welding videos and update videos for now. And the schedule might change a little bit. I might, I'm still gonna post every week. I'm gonna try at least post every week, but sometimes there might be one or two videos. There might be two videos a week instead of just one video on Saturday. It might be like Wednesdays and Saturdays. But I don't know yet, I have to figure that out. This might go up. This will be a Saturday video, so you guys will see this in a few days. But I have to, I'm gonna record some other videos in the meantime. I'll probably just record me doing everyday things, I mean that really can't do car content. And a lot of my car content that I had ideas for, based on me being with other people. And with all the COVID stuff, it's hard to do that in groups and whatnot. So I'm just going to do solo stuff at the moment, which will be like welding and simple projects. And parts, part maybe part video updates. Like when I order a bunch of stuff, I'll just show you everything in one video what I ordered. So that's going to be it for this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video with your friends, and follow all my social medias. I'm going to leave them in the description. I got Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. I have a TikTok now. So... That's pretty cool. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the videos, and follow my social medias. Everything will be in the description. And until next time, peace.